a maximum security prison some 250 kilometers east of Moscow, the gaunt figure of Alexei Navalny appeared before the court. The same prison where he is already serving sentences that amount to 11 and a half years for convictions including fraud and contempt of court. Yet Navalny now faces up to 30 more years behind bars as he defended himself against the new charges that include inciting and financing extremist activity and creating an extremist organization. Yes, I believe that given the circumstances for all of us in terms of legal and criminal procedure, you should of course recuse yourself. Because it is obvious to all of us that in this process, your independence, to put it mildly, is seriously limited. After the trial opened in public, journalists were told to leave and it continued behind closed doors. Observing from a room next to the court, his father said the proceedings had no shame, no conscience, no honour. For more than a decade, Navalny has been one of the highest profile political opponents of President Vladimir Putin and the target of several legal cases. In 2020, Navalny survived an apparent attempt to poison him during a flight in Siberia. Tests undertaken at laboratories in Sweden and France concluded it was a nerve agent. While Navalny accused the Russian state of trying to kill him, the Kremlin denied any involvement. After his recuperation in Germany, he returned to Moscow and was arrested upon his arrival. Navalny's supporters mobilized in cities across Russia, but were faced with a police crackdown. Most of his people closest allies have fled Russia, uh, and those who didn't, um, like himself, been put in prison. So essentially, the, the bottom line is that any open opposition activity, which calls for either mass disturbances or uh, tries to undermine the government, is now not possible to do from within Russia. While weakened, Navalny's organization continues its work to oppose the Russian government, as he remains behind bars. But the war in Ukraine has now taken precedence over his release, once an essential conversation point between Western leaders and Putin, and his fate in the hands of the Russian judicial system. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.